We're chatting today with Dr. Catherine Trapani, who is the Director of Education for the Marcus Autism Center here in Atlanta. She's going to be taking questions from Sherwood.com members about autism. Dr. Trapani, thank you so much for being with us today. I haven't gotten my child tested because I don't want him to be labeled. What should I do? I can understand that it is stressful when you begin to think that there may be something wrong with your child. However, it's never a good idea to ignore the obvious. And so if parents have the, even the slightest suspicion that their children may be having developmental delays or difficulties, they should seek assistance immediately in order to help their child uh, gain skills and be able to develop talents and perhaps circumvent uh, some of the characteristics that the mother may be most fearful of. Uh, so denying that there's a problem is never a good solution. Dr. Trapani, what is the first thing a parent should do after receiving a diagnosis? The first thing a parent should do when they hear a diagnosis of autism for their child is to find out what all the local resources are that are dedicated to assisting children and families on the autism spectrum. We are lucky to have local chapters of uh, Autism Speaks, the Autism Society of America, the Council for Exceptional Children, all of which are dedicated to providing and identifying resources for children and families. Uh, additionally, parents need to find out uh, what kinds of educational resources are available to their children, how they can access them, what kinds of benefits their insurance provides so that they can afford to supplement what's ever provided in a public school so that their child has the maximum amount of intervention possible. Dr. Trapani, what do you recommend parents do when they receive the diagnosis? Should they keep it a closely guarded secret or share with others? Not telling people and isolating yourself is probably the worst thing that you can do. Accepting your child or accepting the challenges that your child presents and moving forward step by step uh, and including or welcoming others who are willing to welcome you is probably the most therapeutic and helpful thing that you could do for yourself. Hi Dr. Trapani, my name is Rosalind and I wanted to know is autism a lifelong diagnosis or is there a possibility that children could outgrow it? Nothing is a life sentence, it depends on your perspective. Children have autism, autism does not have children. Uh, what we need to do as parents and as professionals or concerned advocates for children who are on the spectrum is to make certain that they have every possible advantage and tool and therapy presented to them so that they can circumvent some of the very negative kinds of difficulties that are traditionally associated with autism and other developmental disorders. Hi, Dr. Trapani. I have a question for couples who are dealing with an autism diagnosis. Do you have any advice for them on how to keep their relationship comfortable and safe? The advice would be to get as much help for the child as possible, as quickly as possible, and then to seek help for yourselves. People cannot grapple with the challenges of a child who has a difference without assistance and support and love. Um, so rather than being ashamed about their child, they should be straightforward about the needs of their child and the needs of their family. Um, it's not only the child that has a difference, certainly this becomes a difference in the entire family. What is the latest research showing the link between diet and autism? Uh, there's a great deal of interest currently in the relationship between the gut and the brain and how that impacts children on the spectrum. Um, there are many gastroenterologists who are currently doing research on the effect of diet and children on the spectrum, but we don't have any uh, robust, large empirical studies that really give support to the use of the diet. However, there are many children, individual children, who have a very positive um, outcome when their children's change their diet. So parents need to keep that in mind and do what's sensible for their child and their family. 
Dr. Tapani, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been great information. If you'd like to know more about autism, please go to our website at www.sherwick.com.